Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, today, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, the title, and the description, I have a little unboxing to do. It was a gift that I was given on Father's Day by one of my kids, and I appreciate it. It's much better than a tie, okay? So, without further ado, here it is. You know, just like the thumbnail. We have a Bauer or Bower Smart Photography Series 12 inch ring light studio kit with ball head and 62 inch tripod plus phone holder. And it comes with a little a remote, I believe. So, yeah. Now, I don't know how much you saw get out of this. But he was thinking whenever I do my everyday kitchen episodes that this might give me a little bit more light uh, in the kitchen. So, we'll see. One day soon, maybe. Let's open her up, shall we? I have my handy dandy trusty multi-tool cut towards my face. Good God, I think you took that. Okay, I need to sharpen it, all right? Good Lord. I think I had a better time using a spoon. Okay. I assume this is going to be the light. Most lightly. <laughs> lightly. Get it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The ever-important air plasticky, cushiony thing. And way down here in the bottom. Way down here in the bottom. Jesus. Now I could open up the bottom, but I'm not going to open up the bottom. Got it. That's a 62 inch tripod. That I like to see. Interesting though, it has a ball head. Ball head. That might mean that it could take studio lighting setups. I used to have some studio lights, uh, like a little beginner photography package. And uh, had some lights and some ball head type stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> it kind of opens up bass backwards. Opens up kind of from the top. Like so. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of ball head that they usually use. Something like that. Okay. So you could potentially use uh, like soft boxes and stuff like that. Other lighting and and all that, that's kind of cool.
Not a bad little tripod. And of course it does go up higher than that. But that'll work for now. Looks like I got a big thin wheel. I got a thin wheel. There's the little remote. And phone holder. Got a little flexible deal there, looks like. And that goes on the ball head and has a traditional, I don't ever know the millimeter that it is, but connect to the bottom of most cameras and stuff like that. It's got a little ball head there like so to move it around, tighten it up. Alright, alright. Alright, I got it. I understand what I'm looking at now. Uh-huh. Alright. This is intradestin. Ah, that's for the light. The light. It blinded me with science. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wah wah wah. She blinded me with science. Mary, Mary, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Why, well, it's gotta be you, Mr. Mackison. <laughs> yep, I'm an idiot. Hey, check it out over here, guys. Okay, okay, so I'm twisting the cord up with it. Good grief. Bologna sandwiches. Ah, oh, bologna sandwiches. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. It's so amazing, guys. It's like a microphone. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. One. One, two. All right. Uh, it uses a USB power block that it doesn't come with of course because we're all supposed to have one or 20 right And this screws into the top. Now I could. Now I could just use this as a light. Or I could use this for a phone. That's actually. I like the way that does. Maybe. I see you got that kind. And then you got this kind here 
I've got a couple of these. And they got a little hole, you know, screw in mount there. And that would act, well, would that work there? No, that probably wouldn't work there. I mean, you can get adapters and do whatever, but uh, this in here feels a little better. Uh, and that's how you, that's how you tighten up the ball swivel on this one. Little compression ring kind of deal. And it does have a adjustable that. So, let's hook her up here. You big dummy. Big dummy. Anyway, something like that. Now, one thing you'll know whenever you mess with tripods. Now, I've never had a high quality, high dollar tripod, but some of these little tightening uh, compression areas here, 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 you know, where they, uh, you know, that's what holds it and you can adjust and unloosen and adjust and all that. Uh, sometimes they don't hold super tight. So, you know, probably doesn't have a, battery in it no it does wow kind of surprised seems like it has a fairly long cord on it that's what she says <laughs> So guys, I'm going to find a little power brick and then we'll get back to this and just test it out. See how it looks. Give me a minute. All right, just got a power brick, plugged it in. Now to test it out. Ain't that so pretty? And the idea of that is to, you got your camera here and you're talking into it and it's giving you some nice light. One of the downsides to these that I notice on a lot of people's videos is if you wear glasses, you can see the rings in your glasses. Uh, seeing it in your eyeballs, is no big deal it looks pretty it's catch lights but whenever you have glasses and uh you got one of these or any kind of light for that matter uh you really see it booming off in your glasses so let's see what we got here you can dim it that's pretty cool like a nice white light I like that right there 
Ooh, they have pretty. I have a little desk lamp uh, back behind my monitors. It's kind of sticking over. And uh, it's kind of got the same kind of... That's like... Looks like the same exact color light. Hey. Without a flash or any other lights. With the ring light. And I'm editing the video as you're watching this. So that's with the ring light, without the ring light. With it. And here's the different color variations of the bulb. I call this white. I call this yellow, which is gross. I call this almost white. And that is white. So there you go. Pretty neat, huh? So... That's pretty cool. I assume the remote does pretty much the same thing. Oh, this might be a Bluetooth for the phone. Even. Camera 3... I guess I could read the instructions. But, you know, most people don't do that. <laughs> It's poetry in motion. How to use this? Yeah, I think it's for your phone. Huh. I guess. That's interesting. Y'all have to look more into that. So, anyways guys, that's just kind of an unboxing and little put together and trial here of the uh, Bauer. Bauer Bauer. Oh yeah. Studio light kit. Now, I'm not sure how much it costs or anything, as my son got it for me. But, it seems pretty decent, guys. Wireless remote shutter. Yeah, that's for your phone. Or it might even work with a, a camera that has Bluetooth. Uh, like my... GoPro might even work with that, even though my GoPro has a I got a remote for it anyway. Right, you know, fifty-five dollars that I never use. So <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Well, hey, just from what I can tell, I recommend it. Uh, if you're looking into some sort of just kind of cheap entry level, you know, getting into things kind of lighting, check this out. I'm sure my son got it at Walmart because that's where he works. And uh, I'm sure that's where he got it. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this little unboxing and put together and demonstration here. Uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out my playlist. That's where everything's at, including videos like this. So, yeah. And check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Get my channels out there. Help me get YouTube famous. People need to see my beautiful face. I'm beautiful. No wonder I don't have any subscribers. Anyway, guys. Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. And go get yourself a beautiful studio light kit. We'll see you later. I'm going to play around with this. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!